In this lecture, we explain LaSalle's invariance principle and show by some examples how it can be used to determine asymptotic stability of an equilibrium point. Asymptotic stability is an important property of a system to be determined. We have explained in a previous lecture how to determine asymptotic stability using Lyapunov stability theorem. But it often happens that v dot, which is the derivative of the Lyapunov function candidate, is only negative semi-definite, and therefore we can only conclude the stability of the origin using Lyapunov stability theorem. Fortunately, it's possible to draw a conclusion on asymptotic stability of the origin using LaSalle's invariance principle that we will present in this lecture. We make a definition before stating LaSalle's invariance principle. A set omega is positively invariant with respect to x dot equals f of x if all trajectories starting in omega stay in omega forever. As an example, the set omega equals x in R such that the absolute value of x is less than or equal to 1 is a positively invariant set with respect to x dot equals minus x. To prove this, we only need to check the boundaries of the set and show that if a trajectory is on the boundary of the set, then it goes into the set. Let's start with x equals 1. At this point, x dot equals minus 1, and therefore the trajectory goes into the set. When x equals minus 1, x dot equals 1, and again, the trajectory goes into the set. So none of the trajectories inside the set can leave the set, and therefore the set is positively invariant. In the second example, consider a general nonlinear function x dot equals f of x, and let the function v be a positive definite function, and v dot be a negative definite function. The definitions for positive definite and negative definite functions are given in the Lyapunov stability lecture, which is linked in the description below. Define omega as the set of all x in Rn such that v of x is less than or equal to c for some positive constant c. Since v that is negative on the boundary of omega, any trajectory starting on the boundary of the set goes into the set. So no trajectory can leave this set which means that omega is a positively invariant set with respect to x dot equals f of x. We are now ready to state LaSalle's invariance principle. Let omega be a compact set that is positively invariant with respect to x dot equals f of x. Let v be a continuously differentiable function on omega such that v dot of x is less than or equal to zero in omega. Let E, which is a subset of omega, be the set of all points in omega such that V dot of x equals zero. And finally, let M be the largest positively invariant set in E. Then every solution starting in omega approaches M as time goes to infinity. Let's see by an example how LaSalle's invariance principle can be used to show asymptotic stability of an equilibrium point of the pendulum system with friction. The state equations of the pendulum are in this form, where x1 is the angle and x2 is the angular velocity of the bob. Define v as the total energy of the pendulum. Then v dot equals minus k x2 squared, which is negative semi-definite, as it's zero at zero, and is non-positive for all non-zero x. Note that v dot is zero when x2 is zero and x1 is non-zero, and that's why it's negative semi-definite and not negative definite. We now find the sets omega, e, and m. We know from LaSalle's principle that the set omega is a compact set that is positively invariant with respect to x dot equals f of x. The set omega is usually chosen as a level curve of v if v is a positive definite function. But if v is not positive definite, then finding omega may not be easy. In this example, v is locally positive definite, so we can choose omega as one of the level curves of v. The level curves of v are shown in these figures. We only need to find one of the closed level curves around the origin. Let's choose the set omega as omega equals x in R2, such that v of x is less than or equal to 
We know from example two that this set is positively invariant with respect to the dynamical model of the pendulum. Note that we could choose any other compact set such as V of X is less than or equal to 0.2 or 0.1 and they are all fine. According to LaSalle's principle, the set E, which is a subset of omega, is the set of all points such that V dot of X equals zero. To find the set E, we let V dot of X be zero and obtain that minus K X2 squared equals zero, which implies X2 equals zero. So E is the set of all X1 and X2 in omega such that X2 equals zero. This set is illustrated in this figure. We now compute the set M, which is the largest positively invariant set inside E. To find M, we let x2 equals 0 for all time. So x2 dot is also equal to 0. Then by using the system's dynamical model, we obtain that when x2 dot equals 0, minus sine of x1 minus kx2 equals 0. Since x2 equals 0 on E, we have sine of x1 equals 0 and the only x1 on the set E that satisfies this condition is x1 equals 0. So the set M only includes the origin. LaSalle's invariance principle says that every solution starting in omega approaches M as time goes to infinity. So the origin is asymptotically stable and omega is a region of attraction or a region of asymptotic stability of the origin. For more information about region of attraction, see the video link in the description below. These two figures show MATLAB simulations of the trajectories starting in omega that approach M as time goes to infinity. Note that the sets omega and M are positively invariant, but the set E is not. It can be observed in the right hand side figure that a trajectory that starts in E leaves E. So E is not positively invariant. In the final example, we consider a mass spring damper system. The state space model of the system is in this form, and since it's assumed that u equals zero, the state equations are simplified to x dot equals v and v dot equals minus x minus v. We consider a quadratic Lyapunov function v for this system and obtain that v dot equals minus v squared, which is negative semi-definite. So from the Lyapunov stability theorem, we can only conclude that the origin is a stable equilibrium point. We will use LaSalle's principle to show that the origin is actually asymptotically stable. We first need to find the set omega, which is a positively invariant set with respect to the dynamical model of the system. Since V is a positive definite function, we plot the level curves of V and then choose omega from them. The level curves are shown in these two figures. We choose one of them, for example v equals 1, and define omega as omega equals x and v such that v of x and v is less than or equal to 1. Omega is a circle with radius 1 centered at the origin of the xv plane. To find the set E, we'll let v dot equals 0 and obtain that v is equal to 0. So E is the set of all points on a line segment on the x-axis from minus 1 to 1 as shown in this figure. We then find the set M which is the largest invariant set inside E. To find this set, we use the system model and find all points in E where V dot equals 0. We see that the only point that satisfies this condition is the origin. So we conclude from LaSalle's principle that every solution starting in omega approaches M as time goes to infinity. At the end of this lecture, we want to compare Lyapunov stability theorem and LaSalle's invariance principle. In the Lyapunov stability theorem, the function v of x should be positive definite on a ball around the origin. But in LaSalle's principle, v of x only needs to be continuously differentiable on a set omega where omega is a positively invariant set with respect to x dot equals f of x. In most cases, the function v in LaSalle's principle is also chosen as a positive definite function so that finding omega becomes easy. The main advantage of LaSalle's principle over Lyapunov stability theorem is that v dot in the Lyapunov stability theorem needs to be locally negative definite to conclude asymptotic stability of the origin. However, V dot in LaSalle's principle can be negative semi-definite. 
Lyapunov stability theorem was proposed by Alexander Lyapunov in 1892, but Lassalle's invariance principle was independently discovered by Krasovsky and Lassalle in 1959 and 1960. This principle is also known as Lassalle's principle, Lassalle's theorem, Krasovsky-Lassalle's principle, and Barbashin-Krasovsky-Lassalle principle.